The second thought that I came that came up in your in your conversation because I'm always interested in what's the pragmatic use, and you mm -hmm. kind of said that's where your passion lies as well. Meetings are, are have always been of great debate. I mean, there's the famous uh, uh, Twitter or or X uh, um, file from from um, Elon Musk that basically told all of his employees, if you're in a meeting and you're bored and you don't feel like you're contributing, you have my my authorization to leave. But mm -hmm. ultimately. Meetings are important in, in the business yeah, world. It's, a, it's all about content. Because theoretically, it's the oldest, most effective, and theoretically most efficient way to communicate with multiple people. But let's, not, let's go into that. <laughs> yeah. If you're saying that we've got six different personalities, yeah. let's say you've got a meeting with 10 different people. Yeah. They're all on a different stage. Yeah. Yeah, they have their preferred communication channels. So how do you, how do you, how do you deal with that? How would you, no. if you've got... If you've got a zoo of different listeners. Yeah, but the good thing is that we have all of the six types and all of the six perceptions and all of the sentence patterns within us. Okay. So we can activate it because in our condominium, in our house, we have an elevator that you can use. If I'm now willing to, to uh, perceive the world through the perception of imagination. I can so do it I, right I'm, now. I'm with you. Wait, wait. Yeah? So, so wait, the key, the, coming yeah, back to this. Yeah. So everybody who attends a meeting has the possibility to go to the thinker floor and exchange facts and figures. Or can go to the persister floor to exchange opinions. So it's not like the message is being lost on them. No. It's just that they might they might not f receive it with full impact. It, yes, because maybe their elevator is not working correctly. So they're okay. coming out of a meeting just b before. Was, it was exhausting. They lost a contract or whatever. So they are a little bit out of energy. We would say they are stressed or even de-stressed. Mm -hmm. So they are in the, they are showing already their negative sides of yeah. their condominium. If this is the case, then you have to bring them back in front of their elevator that they can go to the different floors. So and let, this you can do with communication. Let's, let's keep it simple though, yeah. because my original statement was, okay, you, you've, you've nailed it that, let's face it, if you're sitting in front of 10 people, not all of them are hearing you the same way. No. Because, Definitely. Because they're a different different thing. <laughs> so the question is, but I only have if I'm in the meeting, that's the whole thing. That's the collaborate mm -hmm. collaborative nature. I can only communicate in one style at a time, right? Yes. Okay. But what you're saying is if you effectively communicate in that style, you might not you won't pick everybody up, but you can pick up a majority. Is that what you're saying? It, yes, and you can invite the people to use different parts of their personality. Okay, so there, so there's yeah. ways to channel them into the right way Correct. of thinking. Yeah, because they are going to... Everybody who, who attends a meeting wants to have an efficient meeting. Yes. Everybody wants to have an agenda. It's yes. not typical for the thinker part within us. No, it, the human beings like it. I, I know how long it will take me because I respect my time uh, schedule. I know what's who is invited. Are these the right people? I know. I want to know who is doing the facilitation. So, are there any rules? Everybody likes it, independent of the of the different personality. So, there's a, there's a norm or a medium of presentation style that you can can develop that appeals to the majority majority of the time. Yeah. But then, I, I what I'm sensing here is that when you go into the nitty gritty, when you start going into the conflict, or you're going into the different interests, yeah. right? Um, that's when you have to be more differentiated and say, okay, I've got three people over here that are in this stage. You just observe them okay. because you will immediately get a reaction yeah. uh, of how the messages are received. Mm -hmm. I attended uh, a, a presentation of a quite famous guy who developed a, a, a management model. Mm -hmm. And he did the presentation, I think it was 45 minutes. And he had a lot of thinker and persistent energy. So he mm -hmm. perceived the world mainly through opinions mm -hmm. and thoughts. And he didn't change his tone of voice over this 45 minutes. And you can literally see people sleeping in this really interesting presentation. So the content was really valuable. So he was a classical like professor type. Highly educated, yeah. very rational, and great bullet points, great so, wonder, wonderful long sentences explaining it. Yes, but but yeah. very rational, with not with yeah. that without and, that emotional. And with hook. the glasses of PCM, you immediately know. Okay, this is a person who is just using these two kind of perception, thoughts, uh, and opinions. Uh, you can see this in a monotone voice. 
There's not a lot of movement in the body language, uh, quite stiff standing in in the front. Mm -hmm. So what's happening, there is no emotional contact with people who have a lot of uh, imaginer, for instance, a lot of harmonizer, because they want to have feeling, a lot of uh, rebel, they want to see emotional things. And you can use pictures, you can use YouTube clips or whatever to, to make it interesting. And this is because you asked me about the meetings. So you have to make offers to the people with different mixes of personality types. And if you're just using two of them, you're losing 